Now, in the power vacuum left in the wake of Sheikh Hasina's departure, student leaders spearheading the quota reform movement are adamant that they want Nobel Peace Laureate Mohammed Yunus to be the chief advisor for the interim government. But let's understand who Mohammed Yunus is and why Bangladesh students swear by his leadership. Born in Chittagong in 1940, pre-independent India, Mohammed Yunus is a distinguished Bangladeshi social entrepreneur, banker, economist and civil society leader. He rose to international prominence in the year 2006 when he and his Grameen Bank received the Nobel Peace Prize for their pioneering work in microcredit and microfinance. Three years post Bangladesh's liberation war in 1974, major flooding among the Brahmaputra River killed and displaced large swathes of the Bangladeshi population. The flooding also resulted in one of the worst famines of the 20th century. In response to this calamity, Yunus sought to make a tangible difference for the impoverished. He initiated long-term loans to help individuals start their own small businesses and this led to the establishment of the Grameen Bank. That is not all. Yunus has been honoured with numerous other prestigious awards including the United States Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2009 and the Congressional Gold Medal in 2010. His contributions have been recognised globally with accolades such as the World Food Prize, the Volvo Environment Prize, the Nikkei Asia Prize for Regional Growth, the Franklin D. Roosevelt Freedom Award and the Seoul Peace Prize to name a few. Yunus, a fierce and vocal critic of Sheikh Hasina and her regime's policies, was sentenced to six months in jail this January for allegedly violating the labor laws, but was granted bail two months later. During the quota reform violence that sparked earlier in June, Yunus called upon world leaders and the United Nations to do aid in ending violence against those who are exercising their rights to protest. Yunus also pushed for investigation into extrajudicial killings that have plagued this movement. In July, however, Yunus was again jailed on charges of embezzling $2.3 million. The embezzlement case involves a workers' welfare fund of Grameen Telecom, which owns over 34% of the country's largest mobile phone company. Now, Grameen Phone, a subsidiary of Norwegian telecom giant Telenor, Yunus was accused of bribing to trade union leaders and deprived ordinary workers of their rightful earnings. Many believe this to be retaliation for his comments against Sheikh Hasina's regime. This is a historic event. A Nobel laureate has been accused of misappropriation, fraud and money laundering. The charges are not against me only. A total of seven of us have been accused. These people have worked hard their entire life for the poor people. They were not just employees. They dedicated their lives for the cause. These people have been accused of the same charges. Following Sheikh Hasina's resignation and departure in the aftermath of the quota reform movement, student protest coordinators called for the formation of a new interim government with Nobel Peace Laureate Mohammed Yunus as its chief advisor, emphasizing that protesters will not accept any other government other than the one proposed by them. For all the latest news, download the Vyond app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.